Welcome to this technical demonstration of the MU4000's denial of service capabilities. I'm Ken Elwell, Senior Technical Instructor for MU Dynamics. This presentation will demonstrate the current state of the art in proactive service assurance. To understand how a targeted service reacts to varying levels of application specific traffic, three variables need to be defined what to send, how fast to send it, and how to measure its impact on the target. Protocol refers to the headers and payload we will be sending. These are stateless attacks, just like real denial of service incidents. We can vary all aspects of the various OSI layers from the MAC layer all the way up to the application itself. Once we have specified the payload, we have to decide how we want to deliver it. The user can select a mu define pattern or define their own through an intuitive GUI. By using various levels of intensity and studying the results, the MU4000 can determine critical thresholds of service impact and recovery. The monitoring service ties it all together. I can select which service I wish to monitor and instrument it directly at the application layer. We're not limited to using the same protocol for attack and monitoring. To better understand the context of a denial of service attack, it is helpful to see what is connected to the MU4000. We have two of the MU4000 attack ports connected to a Mac Mini running several Linux virtual machines. The MU4000 can be controlled using a standard web browser. I'll log in as admin. This brings us to the Security Analyzer's homepage. From here, I can administer licenses, apply updates, and manage analysis data. The ARP test template contains all the information needed to run an attack sequence against this target. This template represents a test configuration originally created on another MU4000. The testbed describes the local host connections. The target specifies which host we will be attacking. And the attacks tab shows us details on which attacks we will be using against the target. For example, we could use a published worm pattern to hammer away at the target while using periodic SIP invites to test its availability. From the analysis tab, I have access to previous results as well as sorting, searching, report generation, and regression capabilities. Now let's run a live test against this target. For this test, I will select the local ARP test template. The analysis overview allows us to see what target we are attacking, which attacks we're using, and if there are any additional monitors or event triggers to synchronize with other devices in the lab. Let's look into our denial of service attack. On the DOS settings tab, we can specify the protocol and the pattern which will be used to send that payload. In this case, the payload is a custom built ARP message. As you can see, the source MAC address will be randomly generated. We can specify exactly what we want to send. The MU4000 dynamically recalculates checksums so the packets aren't discarded as invalid by the NIC. On the monitoring tab, we select which protocol we will use to pull the target. Here we are using ARP requests. I can click on the Verify button to see if the MU4000 can successfully instrument or communicate normally with the target. As you can see, the target responded to our normal ARP queries with an average response time of 6 milliseconds. This instrumentation sequence will be used throughout the attack to measure the target's availability. Since we have verified normal target operations, we can now run the test. Since we've already verified the target's availability, we can click on Run to start the test. Notice that the analysis has been added to a queue. This allows us to stack attack runs so that when the current test is completed, the next one begins. The engine log shows us the current state of the analysis. This data is captured for use after the test to help identify interesting behavior patterns. Contrary to performance or load testing tools, the MU4000's DOS module is primarily designed to judge the effect on the target, not whether or not the target could process all the packets. Load testing tools judge success only based on offered versus processed load. 
In fact, the target is not expected to be able to do so, especially for invalid traffic. The Mu4000 helps answer questions like this. Did the target become unresponsive? If so, for how long? Did the response time to the selected instrumentation degrade? Did it need to be restarted? Were any apparently unrelated protocols affected? The data to answer all these questions is mined at post-analysis to show how the target was affected by the DOS traffic. Now that the test is complete, we can view the results. The response time tab allows us to see the relationship between the attack rates and target availability. Notice that the target was only available 11.13% of the time. That's a long way from five nines of availability. From the results overview, I can also export a portable analysis archive, generate executive summary reports, and rerun the test. Let's see what the report for this analysis looks like. When we generate these reports, we can digitally sign them, add notes, and even attach a logo to the cover page. When we're ready to build the report, we can click on the Create link. The MU4000 creates charts, web pages, and PDF summaries for the test results. We can then download and view the finished product. It looks like the target flunked. 12.5% availability isn't good by anyone's standards. By understanding the complex interplay of attack and defense, we can take proactive measures to improve service uptime. It is impossible to show the complete depth of this feature in such a limited time span, not to mention our other capabilities like mutation attacks and published vulnerability analysis. If you would like to learn more, please visit us at mudynamics.com. This concludes our demonstration of the Mu4000's denial of service feature. Thank you for your time.